Hey everyone! So today we are painting a 14 by 14 and I'm going to do a dirty pour. I'm using Parage Posse Silver Spoon, Lucas Phalo Blue, I have just a little bit, Creative Inspirations White, Soho Phalo Blue, Lucas Light Gray, and PBO Iridescent Blue Black. And I love the way that sheen is on that one. So I'm just going to do, I think I'll do three little cups so I can control the pour a little bit more. And I'm not going to spray these with silicone because I don't want a bunch of itty bitty little cells from the spray. So instead of starting with white, I'm going to start with the silver. I'm going to try to be using up paints this week. Because I need to refill bottles. Okay, it's another phalo blue. It's a little bit darker, not much. And then our light gray. And then our PBO. This is an awful ugly color coming out of the bottle, but when it dries, it's gorgeous. And we'll go back to the beginning. See if I can use this one up. happy. <laughs> A little bit more white. I do like phalo blue next to white. It's very pretty. Gives it a little shadow look. You'll see when I pour it out. The light gray. I have a ton of paint here. I may have enough to do some tiles. And then this one. Okay. Well, we managed to get rid of one bottle anyway. Okay, I'm not going to swirl those either. Because I shot that down in there a little bit. Alright, here we go. It's going to be pretty when it's dry. That one has a lot of silver. Okay. like to run a line through it once in a while. It does add to the depth of the painting instead of just pouring it out all at once. Alright, we got a ton of cells already. I'll just pop a few air bubbles. So most of you know that my new living room colors are going to be blue and gray. <laughs> so, doing some blue and gray paintings. really wanted teal, but we couldn't find a rug that I liked, so pretty sad when you base it on a rug, huh? <clears throat> but I had a lot of help from Nate Cerami, 
He um, does a lot of interior design work for Sherwin Williams, so being my little bud, he helped me pick out things. And he will be coming to visit again in November. So we should have fun again. Lots of projects that we'll be working on. See how one of my paints is running thinner? And I think it's probably that gray. I'm going to go ahead and get this off so I can readjust here. But I'm not minding that little bit of swirl in there. And I'm not minding that trail of silver because it gives it a little interest there in the middle. Let's torch. Tons of cells. Let's touch up a couple of corners here. happy with that. It's got a little movement to it. Should be really pretty when it's dry. But I don't, the only place I see that um, blue black is through here. So it should highlight all of that gray. Oh, there's some here too. So I'll show this one on Monday night. So you can see it dry. Just remind me, because I always forget to show the last week's painting. And um, check out all the links below. Tons of links. If you're looking for painting supplies, um, shop with me through Amazon. I have everything in my Amazon shop, um, including the torch and the trays and pads and all kinds of goodies. And join us every Monday Night Live at 9 p.m. right here on my channel. And uh, we have a great time for a couple of hours. So with that being said, thanks guys so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye now.